With Product Gallery, Cloudinary has created an easy way to dynamically display your account's images, videos, 3D models, and 360 animations on your website. It is built with a highly configurable JavaScript base, giving your team access to showcase your products with gorgeous transitions and effects, all without requiring custom development work. Visitors and shoppers alike will have an excellent experience when exploring your product offerings through our tool. In a matter of minutes, you can rapidly expand your e-commerce solutions for your website, mobile application, or other projects by implementing Cladinary's product gallery today. To ensure you can display your assets on the product gallery, there are two best practices Cladinary recommends taking. The first is providing access to client-side resource lists, and the second is tagging your assets for easy retrieval by the gallery. The product gallery needs access to client-side resource lists in order to display your account's assets. By default, this delivery type is restricted in your Cloudinary account. So go to the security section of your console's settings, then scroll to the restricted image types portion of the page then verify that the resource list checkbox is not selected. We also recommend making sure you have properly tagged your assets. This will make it easy to declare your files in the JavaScript, as well as help if you ever need to quickly add assets to the gallery at a later date. There are three ways you can tag your Cladinary assets. When uploading your files through one of our SDKs, applying tags after you have uploaded them with our admin API, or logging into the Cloudinary Management Console and applying tags, either upon upload or afterward. You can also declare the files in your JavaScript by their public ID if you'd prefer that method over using tags. To build your product gallery, it's all done with basic HTML and JavaScript. Because of this, we recommend building your favorite HTML editor. For this tutorial, we are using JS Fiddle. At the top of your HTML, you need to include Clarinary's JavaScript file for the product gallery. Doing so will provide all of the gallery's functionality. Directly after the Cloudinary JavaScript file, you need to add a containing element for the gallery. This indicates where you want the gallery to be rendered on your page or post. The element needs to have a unique ID, which can be whatever you want. In our example, we have chosen wrap for our ID name. After the div tags, we can initialize our product gallery. This can be as simple as declaring your account names and the tagged assets, or as complex as adding custom options for each aspect. Let's start with a simple example by adding our script tag and declaring the gallery. From here, we need to point our gallery to the containing element with the container parameter. Directly after this, we need to point our gallery to our Cloudinary account with the cloud name parameter. In this example, the cloud name is Sam Brace, but you would change it to your cloud name when you implement the gallery for your projects. Now we're on to the last step before rendering the gallery. This means we need to declare our media assets. To do so, use the media assets parameter to populate the gallery with our tagged content. In this example, we display any images and videos in the account that have the dress tag attached to them. The default media type is images, so we don't declare it here. However, other media you want to bring through should have the media type parameter specified like we have done for video. If we did have any 360 images, we would declare them here too as media type 360. From there, the gallery would display those with its 360 spin set technology. Also notice that each media type can have its own unique tags. In this example, images and videos for the gallery will both have the dress tag, but you can declare a different tag with the tag parameter for the images, videos, and even the 360 content you want to incorporate. Now all we have to do is render the gallery and close the script. We will do this with the render method, then add our closing script tag. The gallery truly can be that simple to implement, but it can also be further customized to be extremely unique and personalized for your brand. 
One of the main reasons people use Cloudinary is because of our amazing asset transformations, and you can apply those on the fly into your product gallery. All you have to do is declare the transformations in the media assets parameter. In this example, I'm going to ask for all the images and videos to use our fill crop style instead of the gallery's default crop style. However, we do automatically apply some of our most generally useful transformations, such as F-Auto, G-Auto, and Q-Auto to images and 360 images. Similarly, we apply useful transformations for device pixel range optimization and other purposes to videos. So don't worry about manually declaring any of the defaults. We handle that for you. At default, we provide a carousel of all the assets as thumbnails. This allows your visitors to see a preview of each item in the gallery, as well as a way to scroll or jump to a specific asset. However, you may want to change the thumbnails to be indicator shapes or remove the carousel altogether. This is easy to handle by adding the carousel style parameter to the gallery, then setting it to thumbnails, indicators, or none. If you decide to further set how the carousel looks, you can do this by overriding the properties for each style. As an example, you can change the default thumbnail styles by stating a new thumbnail props parameter with a new thumbnail props object. Moving on to our third and final tweak, let's talk about video. Customization is definitely possible with the video props parameter. You can see that we have videos set to play on load rather than when the visitor clicks on them. Additionally, we have provided controls for the visitor to be able to manually pause and play the video. At this point, you've likely got your gallery code where you want it to be. It's ready for the public. So all you have to do is embed it on your site. This should be as simple as copy and paste for many of you. However, some content management systems like WordPress block JavaScript in pages and posts at default. So let's show you how to handle situations like that. First, you want to install the Code Embed plugin, which allows you to add code to posts without it being changed by the editor. If you're using a newer version of WordPress that uses the Gutenberg editor, then you'll also want to install the custom fields for Gutenberg plugin. After installing and activating these two plugins, you should be able to declare the product gallery in a custom field, then paste your code into the field. In this example, we labeled the gallery code as code PGW. Once you save your page or post, the product gallery should appear in all of its glory. Congratulations! Our team has plenty of other resources for you to learn about our product gallery. This includes an extensive demonstration page with examples we covered and even some we didn't, such as event and analytics tracking. We also have complete documentation on the product gallery, covering every parameter option and tweak available to you. Lastly, we want to hear from you. If you use the product gallery for your projects, share your examples. We always enjoy seeing what our community develops, and we would love to share your successes too. And of course, we're here to provide support if you need assistance.